with an approach to our business who are known as Ghana.
redefining your identity, the purpose, vision, and mission. As a matter of fact, the very first day your aunt and your mom chose to complain and conceive you, that day, the domestication of your life started. So you've gone through a process called domestication to date. That is the reason why you must redefine who you are to understand where you want to go, to know what you can achieve. In your mother's womb, whatever she ate was what you were eating. Whether you liked it or not, whatever she ate was what you were eating. So if your mom did not have lightness of food, probability that you will come on this end and will also not eat food is also hard. If she did not take the light in eating bamboo, probability that you will come onto this end and will also not, not like eating bamboo is also hard. So the domestication of your life started from your mother's womb. That is the reason why you don't even know who you are. You don't even know where you are going. You don't even understand what makes you who you are. It took me 22 years to discover who I am. I wouldn't want to sit down for you also to go through the same process to discover who you are. So for that matter, I want to draw your attention to the reality that until you discover who you are, the process to achievement and attainment of success is very minimal. Many people become great men in academia, but they are not fulfilled because they lack the identification of who they are. When you are born into the family, can you imagine if you had the, the right and the own opportunity, how would you have been called? Somebody gave you a name. Whether you liked it or not, you have a name from your parents. Given the opportunity, would you have named yourself the way they named you? So the domestication process just, just proceed. Before you realize, your dad wants you to behave in a certain way. Your mom also wants you to behave in a certain way. Let's take it that your, your dad is a Presbyterian, your mom is a Pentecostal. Look at this alteration that you are going to go through. You run shit. One time you go to Presby, the next time you are in the church of Pentecostal. So,
God.
want, but you are here to conquer and to dominate and make an impact. But until you understand who you are, until you understand who you are, the moment you discover who you are, it is then that you have the power and the beautiful understanding to know and design a vision. To come about with a purpose. Then you set on a journey that is the mission. But if you don't have a pragmatic understanding of who you are, how then can you have a vision to become the leading number one physicist in the world? To become the leading number one biologist? To become the leading one technologist? If you don't have a real vision of who you are, how then can you become what you want to see becoming?
cross. Do you understand how we create the great environment where people are special talents? Who, who has ever asked you or herself, why am I even on this earth? If you have, raise up your hand. Who has ever asked himself or herself, why am I on earth? Let's talk who? Yes, who else? Who else? If, if you are The 